What is Dynalist and is it the right outlining app for you? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the Become a Writer Today channel. In this video, I'm going to review Dynalist, walk through how you can use it and talk about some of the pros and cons. I'm also going to explain a little bit about how you can use these outlining apps to manage your week, manage your workload and manage writing projects. That is everything from articles to book chapters to working with freelance writers for your sites. Hope you enjoyed the content in this video all about Dynalist. If you do, hit thumbs up. If you want to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're unfamiliar with apps like Dynalist, they basically help you outline articles or book chapters or even manage a to-do list uh, using bullet points. And then you can reorder your list quickly and easily inside of the app. So Dynalist has a kind of a cult following and it's a cult following probably because it's really good, it's really intuitive and it's also really cheap. In fact, the free version is particularly good. Uh, you can get almost all of the features that I'm going to show you in this video, apart from some advanced tools like uh, custom shortcuts, a mobile toolbar and some custom CMS and also some custom date formats. And to be honest, you'll probably only need these things if you've been using Dynalist for a while and you want to customize your workflow within Dynalist. So in summary, you can always just try the free version of Dynalist and see if it works for you. Now I'm going to walk through some of the key features inside of Dynalist in a moment. But if you go to the features page, you can see that it has checklists. It can sync with Google Calendar, that's pro only. You can do recurring dates, you can set bookmarks, you can do item finders uh, and so on. Now to show you how exactly this works, I'm going to open up my instance of Dynalist and I've installed it to a Mac. I use the desktop app of Dynalist. There's also a mobile app which you can use on iOS or you can just log in on your web browser. This is my instance of Dynalist on the desktop app. Basically the way it works is you create a file inside of Dynalist and you can organize them into folders. So I have dozens of different outlining files in Dynalist and you can see them all here because I've used it for articles and also for book chapters. So if I was outlining a book chapter or an article, I would simply just create a new file. I would click new document. Now you can import from other outlining apps like Workflowy if you use those. I would give it a title. So let's call this Dynalist review. I know it's all very meta. So I put in the introduction. What is Dynalist? What does, what does it do? Feature one, feature two, feature three pros, cons, pricing. So that's how I would outline an article that I would give to another writer if they were going to review Dynalist for me or I was going to write this up myself. But let's say I was looking at my outline and then I decided that, you know, pricing should be further up. Well, I can use a keyboard shortcut to move it up. And this is why I like these outlining apps because you can rearrange the structure of your article or of your book chapter with it before you sit down to write or edit it. And of course you can use indents as well to put stuff in the right section. Um, so free, premium, uh, and of course you can hyperlink these as well to the pricing page if you wanted to share this with another team member. And actually this is another reason why I like these outlining apps. So if I was to write this myself, I would just have this open and then I would start writing my article. But if I wanted to share this with someone, I can click open menu, then I can click get link, um, or sorry, you can click open menu and I can click manage sharing, click share this document, and then I can choose who to send this to with this private link. And then if I open up the private link uh, in a web browser, uh, the person can see the outline, but they can't actually edit it. So this can be really handy if you want to brief other writers or if you're capturing, I suppose, notes from a meeting or if you have a to-do list that you want to give to someone. So what should you use outlining apps like Dynalist for? Well, they have a couple of different uh, popular use cases. To explain, uh, let me go into the subsection of this Dynalist review. The first thing that you can use them for is for creating article outlines like the one I had a second ago. You can use them for meeting agendas and meeting notes uh, for capturing ideas. You can also use them for uh, outlining books and book chapters uh, for briefing other writers and freelancers, excuse the typo. Uh, you can also use them for, for I suppose, managing your, your week or your to-do list or even your calendar. Basically anything that goes into an outline um, or anything that you can think of that would work well as an outline. Uh, checklists, packing lists, 
uh, any type of list, these are ideal uh, for them. I've used it for all of these types of use cases. So let me show you. Um, so I have a packing list here from when I went on holidays a few moments ago or a few weeks ago. And basically when I was going through uh, my bag to make sure I packed everything for the trip. And when I packed something, I just pressed command enter and then I was able to mark it off. And this was a great way of ensuring that I had, I suppose, everything that I needed for this particular trip that I was going on uh, at the time. Of course, outlining apps are more than just uh, tools for creating simple bullet point outlines like I've shown you. There are, you can zoom in on individual bullets and focus on those. So if I were to go into the what does it do section, and let's say I'm going to rename feature one to uh, collaboration. And then I decided, you know, I have a few more things I want to say about collaboration. I can put these down as uh, sub bullets, or alternatively, I can actually zoom in and then I can just start writing these out. Um, so how to use collaboration, why to do it. And this is a great way of working, I suppose, if you're working on a longer article or a book chapter. And, and if I go backwards, then I can see uh, that the sub bullets are sitting under the main bullet or in the main section of the outline. Now, I probably wouldn't go into that level of granular detail for a simple article, but I've certainly done it for book chapters. So to show you, I'm going to open the quick switcher or the quick finder. So dying list is very keyboard friendly. So I'm doing this with a keyboard shortcut. I'm pressing because I'm on a Mac command O or I think it's control O on Windows. And I'm going to open up a book chapter. This is a chapter uh, from a book I wrote a year ago uh, called I Can't Believe I'm a Dad. So I outlined the chapter inside of dying list. This is the key idea for what the book is about. This is the introduction to the chapter. And these are some of the other sections. Um, and then I can zoom in on individual sections and I could potentially uh, write in here or write a more detailed outline and then use this uh, to reference when I'm, I suppose, looking at it um, with my writing app opened up uh, side by side. And uh, now the other thing to, to understand, you can link to different notes inside of Dynalist. So if I press two brackets and I type in Dynalist review, um, it will actually link back to the Dynalist review that I had on screen there a few moments ago. You can use Dynalist uh, for research. I did that uh, when I was researching an article about how NFTs or non-fungible tokens correspond to the concept of artificial scarcity. So you can see here in this Dynalist file that it's not just bullets. I've actually written into some of these bullets with a bit more detail for information that I wanted to use in the article. And I put in quotes and extracts for some books that I read on the topic. Um, if you go further down, you can also see that I put my sources in so I would remember to cite them correctly when writing up the article. So this was an outline that I spent some time working on before I actually sat down to write it because I found when I did sit down to write it, I was able to have this open on one side of the screen and my writing app open on the other side of the screen. It actually works quite well with the Zettelkasten, which is a type of personal knowledge management system, something I've talked about elsewhere on the channel. And fun fact, the team that developed Dynalist have also created Obsidian, which is a type of Zettel casting or personal knowledge management software. So if you like Dynalist, you're supporting the development of Obsidian. And I do walk through how you can use Obsidian elsewhere on the channel. So do go check out that video. Dynalist also works well as a type of weekly planner. And that's because it integrates with Google Calendar and it also supports dates. So if I type in exclamation mark, I can pick today's date. Click done, and then I can put in things that I need to do today. So record Dyna list video, learn to type properly, uh, and so on. And then I could do the same uh, for uh, Thursday. Um, so publish video, check in with freelancers. And then, of course, when I'm working through these items, I just press command enter to mark them off uh, as they're done. And see, this could be a great way to, for doing a weekly planner, or you could even take that one step further and do a monthly planner. So you could have May, June, July, and then you can just simply move these dates up using uh, command and the arrow key. So that's control and the arrow key if you're on Windows um, to plan your week. <clears throat> Now you can also use uh, Dynalist as well for collaborating with other team members. I personally don't use this feature. Uh, I prefer Trello for collaboration, but you can invite people to your Dynalist documents and then you can tag them using the at symbol and it'll populate their name if they're if they have access to the particular document in question. You can also add hashtags to your document. I haven't used hashtags as much, but you can put in hashtags like doing, done, and to do, and then using the quick sw switcher, uh, you could search for uh, items marked doing and then you can go in here and then start editing these. 
Um, so that also brings me to another thing to call out about Dynalist is that it works incredibly well with Markdown. So you can pick the date with the exclamation mark and this sidebar is present if you get confused. You can link to other items by putting in the brackets and then you just start typing to search. Uh, two stars to bowl something. So for example, two stars. And then one star to italicize something. Um, or sorry, one underline. And you can also highlight uh, by using two equal signs. Uh, I don't really use highlights much, uh, but it is there if you want to call something out in your document. And you can also add internal and external or external links by simply highlighting the text and pressing uh, Command K, and then you just paste in your URL. Um, so in that way, Dynalist is great for building out a type of planner. Uh, the other thing that I like about Dynalist is you can <clears throat> bookmark particular items. So I have quite a big, uh, or chunky file section in Dynalist. So I have dozens and dozens of different files. So what I actually like to do is toggle the bookmark pane, and then I can just see a couple of the different items that I've bookmarked um, for a quick access. And you can actually set one of these as a type of inbox. Uh, so if you use the quick capture on the desktop app, it'll just default to putting it in here. Uh, and then you can decide later where you want to move it. And you can also view a tag pane and see all of the tags that you have as well. So like I said, I haven't been using too many tags, but you can click on doing, and then I can click search and it's got one match and then I can go into the weekly planner and start uh, working away on everything that's marked doing. So instead of using dates, I could just have this as a type of Kanban system where I could have to do, doing and done, and then just go in and tick them off uh, as they're done by pressing command enter. The main reason of course why I like these apps is simply that you can just explore your thinking on a particular topic. So why outlining apps, thinking, but why do this faster than writing, um, easier to capture ideas. And then I can just dive into this and then I could just uh, put in a few more bullet points. Um, don't worry about punctuation. So it's a kind of loose way of organizing your thinking. The pro version of Dynalist also has some mind mapping software built in. So if you'd like to turn your bullet points into a mind map, simply click on the icon here, click on view options, and then you can change this to mind map. And then you can actually view your article as a mind map and then export that as a PDF um, or print it out or do whatever you like to do uh, with your mind maps. And you can of course zoom in and out. If you don't like the bullets, uh, you can of course remove the bullets. So you can also hide or remove the checked off items um, that you like. And you can also customize um, the look and feel of Dynast a little bit, but not so much that you're going to spend a lot of time procrastinating or that it gets in the way of doing your work. Uh, Dynalist also has a mobile app, which I've uh, used and tested uh, extensively. The mobile app works very well um, for doing some of the things that I've said here. The only downside is when you open up the mobile app, it doesn't present you with your inbox or with a Dynalist page you or file. You actually have to press the Dynalist app and navigate into the correct file before you can stop typing or start typing. So it's not great for quick capture. And that's actually something that some of its competitors do a little bit better. And that actually brings me to the key point Dynalist's number one competitor. And that's actually an app called Workflowy. Workflowy is the first of these uh, outlining apps and it's pretty popular online. Uh, it does almost everything Dynalist does, but the UI is probably a little bit more polished. Um, and it handles uh, the way you can dive into parent and child nodes a little bit differently to Dynalist. In other words, it doesn't really rely on this file structure. However, uh, Workflowy has some restrictions. It's not gonna link to your Google Calendar. You can't customize the shortcuts uh, and it doesn't have any mind mapping features. So Dynalist was built, I suppose, uh, as a response to Workflowy for some users who wanted some additional features. But anyway, Dynalist is a great app. I've been using it on and off for years for creating outlines, agendas, uh, meeting points um, for briefing writers and for outlining my own work. Hope you enjoyed the content in this video all about Dynalist. There's another video on the channel where I go through Workflowy so you can decide what's the right outlining app for you. So do check that out. And if you did enjoy the content in this video and want to get more videos like this, I'd hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.